Oh yes, my people, this is Smart Okosin TV show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to give the latest update concerning what is going on in Biafra land. Today is another special, special update. Please, 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 as you are about to watch this video, like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more of our video coming up. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, Wazika was agitating during Obasanjo. A lot of people were agitating. So now that you have arrested, you come down with Wazika that time, now the Kalu came up. Now that you have arrested now the Kalu, someone by is there. I think this data from Ned Mwoko was telling you that even if you arrest um, Simon Eba today, another Simon Eba will come out. So wow. the issue there is that address all those issues. The reason that we can negotiate with him and allow him to continue with his agitation. If he meets the criteria of being uh, uh, having his own uh, Biafra, so be it. Don't tell us that this country is not negotiable. Is not negotiable. The unit of this country is not negotiable. It's negotiable for Christ's sake. Because if things are not working the way it's supposed to be, I told you the other day I came here. I said that somebody from China has a seen this country and somebody from Southeast. Let's use what is going on now. The president is from where? Vice is from where? Speaker is from where? Senior president is from where? CJN is from where? Court of Appeal president is from where? National Industrial Court president is from where? Chief Judge of Federal High Court is from where? You are telling me that, uh, yes, now that you have re removed uh, Kennedy Hanele and you are now brought in Jan uh, Kujuku, that the people of South East will jubilate. Are you talking to idiots? Look at the people that you are talking about. Check, let me start with the sports. In football, the people that have built Nigeria proud are the people of South East. In commerce, in aviation industry, name it, in academics. They are the people of South East. But when it comes to power, they are not qualified. You know that popular saying, I'm one moke, now blue moke. You know it, right? You see, what makes you a man is your ability to roll even before your enemies. Yes, your ability to stand before your enemies and speak boldly. You see, just as you know, our leader will always say, you must be fearless before your enemies. And when he said it, some of us thought he was joking. That is really what makes you a man. You see, this video I'm about to show you, when I watched it, I almost wept. Do you know why I, I, I almost wept? Because I never knew there are people who can stand boldly in this corrupt and bribed nation and still speak the truth, even in the public. I never knew there are still people like this man who can still stand, come out on a camera and say, this is what it should be, regardless of anything. It's not people like uh, Kenneth Okonkwo that is, uh, you know, agitating and um, is speaking for Nigeria because he wants one appointment or the other. Nigerians must rise in the interest of a united Nigeria for the sake of the black man, for the sake of Africa, and for the sake of all of us, knowing that our diversity is our strength, knowing that united we stand, knowing that we will achieve economy of scale if we are together. Let me give you an example. Yes, it's not people like Tito B that will come. I want to be president. I want to be president. President for who? I, I got the advice from a madman. <laughs> you see, honestly speaking, when I watched this video, I was like, God, this is just the video of the moment. This video, there is nothing that will make me not to share it to my followers. And not just that, the kind of facts and figures this man mentioned in this video is unimaginable. So we have been treated as a slave in this country. And that is the essence of this agitation. And then the, the, the person interviewing him asked me a question. Why do you think that Nandi Kano has the right to agitate in, in a sovereign nation? And he said, you called a sovereign nation? Is this nation really truly a sovereign nation? A nation where you regard some people as, as outcasts and then some people are regarded as the real followers or the real owners of the country. Is that so? Is that so? So please, my dear fans, I want you to watch this video. And as you are watching it, please just share the video. Let it go viral. This video needs to go. In fact, this is the only video I'm asking my fans to share. Because I, I love when people are fearless. I love when Kenneth Tokonko started, the one he said about Tinumbo traveling to London to UK that he went to hospital that he, I thought he has come out to, you know, to be a truthful man. 
But the second video he did, saying that he can fight for Nigeria, that anybody that wants to trouble Nigeria, they should come and call him that he fight for Nigeria. That was when I knew that he he, he wasn't just a slave. He's only a lady. They don't chop him. I know probably he's just seeking for an appointment. But unfortunately, in the latest uh, appointment, he wasn't appointed. He is not an Igbo man. <laughs> you see, these people don't really understand the game. They don't. They think that it is by speaking for them that they will be noticed. Go and ask Asari Dokubo. You know what is happening to Asari now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really understand the game. So please, my dear, I will allow you to watch this video. But one thing you do for me is, as you are watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you are seeing my video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And as you are subscribing, turn on the notification button, please, so that you get notified anytime I upload a video, okay? But for this video, we are going to make it go viral. <laughs> please watch it. Uh. Wazika was agitating during Obasanjo. A lot of people were agitating. So now that you have arrested, you come down with Wazwiki that time, now the Kalu came up. Now that you have arrested now the Kalu, someone by is there. I think this data from Ned Moko was telling you that even if you arrest um, Simon Eba today, another Simon Eba will come out. So wow. the issue there is that address all those issues. The reason that the Kalu negotiate with him and allow him to continue with his agitation, if he meets the criteria of being uh, uh, having his own uh, Biafra, so be it. Don't tell us that this country is not negotiable, is not negotiable. The unit of this country is not negotiable. It's negotiable for Christ's sake. Because if things are not working the way it's supposed to be, I told you the other day I came here. I said that somebody from China has a seat in this country than somebody from Southeast. Let's use what is going on now. The president is from where? Vice is from where? Speaker is from where? Senior president is from where? CJN is from where? Court of our president is from where? National Industrial Court President is from where? Chief Judge of Federal High Court is from where? You are telling me that, uh, yes, now that you have uh, removed uh, Kennedy and Hanele and you are now brought in uh, Yang Kujuku, that the people of South East will jubilate. Are you talking to idiots? Look at the people that you are talking about. Check, let me start with the source. In football, the people that have made Nigeria proud have the people of South East. In commerce, in aviation industry, name it, in academics. They are from people of South East. But when it comes to power, they are not qualified. I will tell you, Mr. President, from the first day you are inaugurated, till, as I'm talking to you, the, all your policies, administration, is totally against the people that we are governed. Now, now that you have appointed uh, the wife of Ikemba Ujuku, that is a strategic to get the people of Southeast. I don't know who is advising you. If you cannot take advice, advice of someone like uh, Obiozo, late, the former president of Ohaneze, you cannot take the uh, advice of uh, Ezife, late. You cannot take advice, uh, advice of uh, someone like Iwayan. You cannot take advice of uh, someone like uh, Obonion. I can mention Mbazulika Meiji. Those that have seen it all. What was the advice that they gave? That you should release them and the call. Give them that sense of belonging so that there will be peace. Now, Uncle, this is our assignment to you. Check all the whole countries that is predicated their governance on of on, um, on injustice and unfair treatment against some sections of that country <clears throat> that country will never have peace i can go on and on why america is succeeding today is because america believe in if you are qualified you are qualified as they are treating somebody from american india they are treating african Indi uh, american like that that's why somebody from kenya will go to america and become the president and you see them progressing yeah. Okay, some, Mark, so some, somebody agitated of marginalization yeah. after 50 years you are still doing the same thing and you feel that you have peace it's, it's more spiritual than physical okay let's go back to the cabinet max now um i've heard different schools of thought they're saying that the things are changing and this whole idea of having you know several slots per state um isn't really that fashionable anymore um that really what people want are performers i mean if you get 11 if you get the, uh, 30 jebu people if they're the best you have put them there and let them do the job so uh, but this ethnicity diversity continues to play a part and that's the reason why many people seem to see the appointment of bianca ujuku as a master stroke you see why if you go to dubai and nobody talk about the president nobody cares if you go to uk nobody talk about who is the president nobody cares because the system is functional why people are talking about i mean this issue of uh, it is my turn it is not my turn equitable treatment because some persons felt, felt that this is their 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 father's inheritance 
leadership in this country is their father's inheritance. So that's why you will now see somebody like Buare, who's supposed to be in jail now, will rule this country for good eight years. And they will come out to tell you that I will never look for those who gave me 95%. I've been talking about those who give me 5%. And he rubbish this country with incompetent set of people. Now, Mr. President came up again. Go to CBN. Go to NPC. Go to all those key, key sectors of the economy. Look at those of the people that are working there. Now, the people that you have been marginalized, that you failed to carry along, and people have been asking you, allow these people. They have helped this country. Uh, Max, fact, there's, a pic, there's a picture up there. What do we what do we what do we yes, what do we that is the the, the day Iwana visited Nandekalo. You can see us there. And Iwana, this is in his parlor. Iwana was crying after visiting Nandekalo. Thereafter, I think uh, crying about what? About the way Nandekalo is being treated was is being treated. And the Iwana pleaded in that uh, press interview that the president should release Nandekalo. That is the only area you have peace. I'm talking about the one that have seen it all. Then, after how many months, what happened? A few weeks after the one died, you are still holding in the car. And you now turn around, somebody said that, somebody said, somebody now tell you that, go and they appoint Bianca as a minister. That Bianca, if you appoint Bianca as a minister, they will peace in her. So Bianca, after you are swearing in, you go to South East and address them. That now that I've been given a minister, everybody should calm down. No, apart from really, um, you know, weighing into the Namdekano case you talked about, but the appointment of Bianco Joko, who was a, a, a former Biafran warlord, really, you know. Uh, so, don't you think that that in itself is the president trying to also carry the southeasterners al along? So, so, Temedo uh, Hanele is not uh, from southeast. You remove somebody from Anambra and put another person from Anambra. That with the, I think, Minister for Safe for Foreign Affairs of World, they are giving. So that's the only thing that, the only thing that will calm the people of South East down. One is to release Nandekalo, restructure this country, carry the people of South East along. The only thing that can negotiate with him and allow him to continue with his agitation. If he meets the criteria of being, uh, uh, having his own uh, Biafra, so be it. Don't tell us that this country is not, negoti is not negotiable. The unit of this country is not negotiable. It's negotiable for Christ's sake. Because if things are not working the way it's supposed to be, I told you the other day I came here. I said that somebody from China has a seat in this country and somebody from Southeast. Had it been that that flag, Chinese flag and the Russian flag that we are carrying in Kano, had it been that that flag we are carrying in either Enugu or Anambra or Imo, by now those that Southeast would have been turned into ashes. So the Boho went to London last week to present a paper. I need the Rubudura Republic. Had it been that somebody from Southeast went to that London to present that paper. By now, they would have been picked up. So, we are not the, nobody from South East, we have been treated as a slave in this country. And that is the essence of this agitation. He's not qualified to be the, uh, the president. He's not qualified to hold any key position. He suffered on his own, established himself. He will acquire land from their state. Go and see what is happening in Lagos. They are busy collecting the uh, lands belonging to the people of South East. People will see of who. You go to court, which court? It's not their own court. So yeah. the what we are saying is that this particular issue can be addressed when the president come down. The reason now they can have a discussion with him. You have been having a discussion with uh, bandits and uh, the so-called repentant Boko Haram. Tell me the offense of Nandekal because it's agitating for uh, self-determination which is his own constitutional fundamental rights granted to him by the constitution and well, the law. Well, the government's angle is not because of the agitation because they know that uh, everyone has a right to agitate well, but they said the way he was going about it like and, and then in, uh, people were being incited well that's even not, not what i'm, I'm what trying of the to one, say what of the one the wife of the president incited people during the election the wife of the president he incited people that evil should go what of the one or other of lagos say that evil should go and uh, uh, fall into lagoon what of those that came out and said that Igbos will not vote? If you are not voting for APC, you will not vote. What happened to them? Has anybody been arrested? That Nandekalo said something. Then you now thumb that thing he said as a, you know, is a terrorist, is a, 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 a crime of a terrorism. You charge him for terrorists. His own lawful organization 
that is registered in almost all the whole countries in America and Europe and Asia. And you now came to Nigeria, you term it a terrorist organization. Now you are now, now saying that now that IPOB is being recognized in almost all the whole countries in America and Europe. So you are now saying that America, France, Germany, they are recognizing a terrorist organization because you don't want anybody to agitate. You want to suppress anybody. If you talk, you kill him, suppress him, jail him in a country that is dedicated on constitutional governance it cannot work like that okay let's get back to the ministerial uh, nomination of uh, bianca ojuko you know because uh, you said he took away on from anambra and brought in another but remember that the president took away the minister based on the kpi results that came out which he was not even the one uh, you know that you know, did the evaluation it was the result given to him uh, with which he, he did that meaning that if actually uh, the minister had performed you know above uh, board in the uh, kpi he wouldn't have had any reason to remove him, remove her rather. Now, still, that means a realist. We have 48 of them, am, am I right? And what 36 MIS states in this country, including FCT 37. So, apart from Southeast, that have only five, every other region have more than six, apart from Southeast. Now, check since 1999, we have been having series of president, just okay, let's use what is going on now. The president is from where? Vice is from where? Speaker is from where? Senior President is from where? CJN is from where? Court of Appeals President is from where? National Industrial Court President is from where? Chief Judge of Federal High Court is from where? And they are saying that the whole of South East belongs to this country. Are you sure you know? Are you, Max, are you sure you know? Yeah, I mean, it's just like what I said too. I mean, isn't it time we started to um, be less sentimental about this? Like, is about a, this? No, no, is a, we have to apply it now. We are talking about, we are saying that the only people that are qualified to hold all this position. Nobody from South is qualified. On what basis? On what basis? Are you saying that but the chief of Never Star is from the South East. Huh? The chief of Never Star. From where? I'm I'm talking about the key position. Yeah, number one person, number two person, number three person, number four person, number five person. The key position. We have three arms of government: the executive, the judiciary, and the parliament. We can never see anybody from South East there. Now the point we are talking about is that when I'm not even talking about you know I'm in court about lopsided appointments okay i can avail that my process because i did an intensive research in that process file it asking court to view whether this particular appointment whether this particular government is in line with federal character establishment act an act of national assembly that said that you should carry everybody along section 14 of the constitution also said that you should carry everybody along and you are now doing all these things you are telling me that uh, yes now that you have removed uh, kennedy Hanele and you are now brought in a uh, young that the people of south east will jubilate are you talking to idiots look at the people that you are talking about check let me start with the sports in football the people that have built nigeria proud of the people of south east in commerce in aviation industry name it in academics they are from people of South East, but when it comes to power, they are not qualified. And we want them to be happy. Listen, let me tell you, like today that is Monday, go to South East. And my annoyance is that these things are avoidable for Christ's sake. They won't at attend neither. The reason and the Carlo, let us start addressing this issue. This early morning, somebody sent me a clip, uh, something they, they posted that they said from, I think they said next week, I'll be the next two weeks, that there will be nothing like federal courts in the whole of South East. What do I mean by federal courts? Federal Court, National Industrial Court is a federal court. Federal High Court is a federal court. Court of Appeal is a federal court. Now, the people that, the judges that are there, most of them are not Igbos. Majority of them are not Igbos. How should you risk somebody to go and preside in a court of appeal over the judicial, the judicial division, Oka Judicial Division, Enugu Judicial Division? How can you appoint somebody to go and preside in Federal High Court in the Southeast, National Industrial Court in the Southeast? And we are not even thinking about all this. And the judges are not even thinking about no. So, so, so the point we are talking about is that when there is a problem, look for a solution. Person, somebody like us, we are not even, you know, I'm defending and the one of his wires. So what is it? So you people are not doing what you're supposed to do. You know, the person that the person that is calling you don't even know him. No, He's Mark, using the hiding number to call you. Mark, I don't say you don't even know what you're talking about. Cause the only thing that is that you went to court and you were unable to bring the Carlo out. No, not even safe. Okay, Maxwell. Uh, let me ask you this because from what you're saying, I've also heard IPOB uh, many times deny you know um, allegations of being involved in some of the killings that happened in the southeast and some of the you know um, the, the ills that we see in the society, even the sit at home in question ipo has also uh, uh, claimed that he, he, he has not asked anybody to see that home 
I don't know, get my point. Mm -hmm. So the point I'm making is that from what you're saying, it would look as if um, what you're actually trying to say is that it's because the Namdi is being held. Yes. That is why, you know, the ills in the society in the southeast has escalated. Does it have anything to do with him? Do you know, that is what you're saying. Do you know why? Nande Kalo, IPOB is an initiative. He established it, he organized it. Now, when you now kidnapped him or adopted him, and unlawfully, because the Supreme Court have said that he was unlawfully brought into this country. And you kept him incommunicado. Everybody on his own. This one we kill, you said that IPOB. This one we made, you said that IPOB. Everybody on his own. That's why I ask you the question, who is IPOB? The IPOB you know is Nandekalu. So Nandekalu, if Nandekalu is out, do you know who is who? Simon Epa will talk his own. Emma Powerful will talk his own. This one will talk his own. This one, who is, who is IPOB? That you are even uh, 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 talking. No, no, um, Simon is in Finland. A map powerful. I don't know where he's operating from. Another person is operating from somewhere. Issuing threats. Issuing. They will, just like the, the one somebody told me. I don't even know where that one is coming from. So the, 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 the easiest way to do is the one that you know. Nandekal. Then tell Attorney General. As he discontinued the, the charges against uh, the president of. Uh, uh, discontinue that of a show they are all terrorism they said tell them to discontinue this of that of Nandekalu and allow Nandekalu to agitate it is his right I told you that the other day you see that's where the problem is it, it, really the guarantee you know that there will not be problems even if Nandekalu is it, because if you're saying allow him to agitate it, it, and he, he goes about it the way he used to like uh, you know uh, the government ha, have actually feared because, that, that may also uh, create more problems don't you think because let me tell you there are some things that you asked me the other day whether they are talking about uh, condition uh, giving him the color. I told you one question. I said, if you give him the color condition that he feel after meeting up that condition, he will still live like a human being. So be it. But when you give him condition and you are removing that that made him a human being, he will tell you no. What is that that made you a human being? Well, that thing that makes you a human being is your ability to exercise your fun fundamental rights. And when somebody said, now I'm going to employ you here, I'll be paying you $500,000 every month, but you will not talk. You will not move out. You said, do away with your job. When somebody said, I'm going to release you, but I'll cut one of your hands. You said, no. The, right, the, 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 the agitation for, for, uh, for self-determination is a fundamental right. And if you people fail to understand this, I can agitate that I need the Republic of Maxwell. Yeah. It is my right. Anybody can agitate. I don't even need people crowd to follow me. It is when you now feel that you have gotten the necessary this thing, the necessary and uh, and um, need the necessary qualities. Then so be it. It is now left for the president who believes in democracy, who believes in government of the, of the people by the people to apply an initiative. What is the initiative? Release the person. Start addressing all those issues that gave rise to this agitation. It has been there. Uh -huh. Wazrika was agitating during Obasanjo. A lot of people were agitating. So now that you have arrested, you come down to Wazrika that time, now the Kalu came up. Now that you have arrested, now the Kalu, someone is there. I think this data from Nate Moko was telling you that even if you arrest um, Simon Eba today, another Simon Eba will come out. So uh -huh. the issue there is that address all those issues. Right. So for you, it's for, for you, it's not about, it's not about ministerial nomination. appointment. No, no, no. no. That, that was okay, that, that, that was Martin, complete discussion. It's a complete discussion. Oh, oh, not even that was not even coming. Even come okay, okay. All after right. In now, let Bianca come and address the Igbo in Enugu. All right. All right. So you have seen it. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Drop your comment on the comment section. Honestly, I, I, I don't just cry. I'm, I'm not just crying. I feel joy because people can still come out to speak the truth. So please drop your comment on the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to this channel right? Thank you and God bless you.